What's up, guys? This is the Vinyl Casket. Home to the lamest taste. My name is Nick. This is the channel. You can check it out on YouTube at The Vinyl Casket. All one word. Or you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. We do trailer reactions. We do TV and movie reviews, as well as weekly comic book reviews. Every week, I go to the shop on Wednesday. I grab my sack. I read my sack. After I read my sack, I bag and board my sack, take pictures for the Instagram, then sit down with you guys and talk about my stuff. Uh, almost every Tuesday, there is a weekly roundup video on Manny Reads Comics YouTube channel, Manny Reads Comics, where me, him, and our friend Carlos talk about our top threes, run them down real qu quick, disappointments, and favorite covers. And then that's what happens. So let's quickly go through this stuff. We're going to start with Indies, Marvel, DC. One Marvel book this week, uh, but it's a, it's a good one. Um, and we got a bunch of image. But we're going to start with Ablaze, with issue two of L's. Um, I know this is a European comic that was released previously. This is issue two from Ablaze. I believe collects issues three and four of the original release. I think um, really good continuation feels like we, it was definitely over a month waiting for this I love the, the first issue uh, I really enjoyed this issue uh, this is the B cover I believe I really like the internal artwork I like how the person who basically has DID her personalities are are distinguished in her head and physically for us to visually view through different hair colors and facial expressions and it was really cool to see how this nervous break that she's been holding at base, she's been good, snaps. There's like another personality in here that is forcing things at her so that they get out, so that she can lose it. And it's kind of starting to tear a friend group apart. And everyone cares about her. It's a really good story. It's heartwarming. It's deep. It's emotional. Uh, but it's also somewhat relatable. Like, it feels like I can understand what's going on here. And I really like that. Um, we read it out of 10, 1 through 10. I'm going to give this a 7.5. Uh, we move on to Image Comics with an issue one from Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. Boom. Vanish. Um, this is one of the variants. I don't know which one. Um, I just thought this cover was cool, so I grabbed it. Um, I really like this. I really do. Uh, I know Manny from Manny Reads Comics was talking crap on it. Um, it's not bad. Artwork's pretty solid. I, I like that it's a little cheesy. I like the, the, the whole idea of the premise of the story, which is basically... Right? Good. Which is basically... This weird futuristic world where there's the real world and then there's this magic world uh and kids are raised in the magic world and they go to a school and they get the sigil stamped into them so they can tell when danger isn't around and they learn and know magic and all of a sudden this one group of guys the hollow with this baron dude Van baron vanish um basically tries to overthrow the world in their way and kills this leader of the school but then there's rules that has to be adhered between going in between worlds and stuff and going into the into different rooms and the main character of this book decides to basically confront this guy because the woman that would be his future wife was about to get killed by her and this guy was the reason that both his parents died so he pulls out a gun and shoots him he's supposed to be this chosen one but he lets the rest of the hollow get away and he's pissed um but we flash back and forth and in the present time he's this drunk dude walking around this wasteland and there's a bunch of shit going down and the superhero kid starts doing shit and he realizes with a sigil that that's one of the hollows using his power to basically pretend to be a superhero uh he takes him out that was sick um, and basically there's a whole group of superheroes that are actually the original Hollow that came back finally pretending to be good guys now um, I really like the concept I like the artwork, I like the concept I really enjoyed it, sick I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 uh, we move on to issue 4 of Chip Zdarsky's Public Domain amazing book, really good really, really good 
um it's fun it's it's basically following the story of this guy who created a comic book called the domain and his partner and the publishing company the comic company basically have turned on him and have stolen the rights to him so he's basically making nothing they're making movies tons of stuff finally his son pushes they find out that he actually owns the rights and then there's this big lawsuit they get the rights his son's in legal trouble not legal trouble but like gambling trouble he's gonna die so he makes a deal to get the amount that he needs to pay off his debt and the rights to publish his own domain comic comics which is really interesting idea and he's doing it to create a legacy that his sons can carry on even though the company that he used to work for still has the rights to make to continue to their ongoing storyline but he can use the domain and all his original characters and all his new characters um very interesting very weird but it's really really enjoyable to read it's an 8 out of 10 easy um then finally from image we have issue 18 of radiant black which is such a weird weird book uh basically we have the origin story i guess and future story of uh radiant yellow wendell um it basically reads as four or five ongoing stories right so e so there's a story here a story here a story here a story here and it reads across the entire two pages right it reads across that whole line and that goes into the next page when you flip the page it goes into the next one you flip the page and it continues right so it's four or five continuous stories happening throughout the entire issue uh about um Wendell when he first got married and was about to have a kid when his kid's a teenager and they're getting divorced uh, when he's working at the tech store because he lost his job at the company he was working at and in the future in like an apocalyptic wasteland really sick really awesome uh, I'm not sure how important it is yet but this was a sick issue eight eight and a half out of ten easy artwork was awesome um, Lone Marvel book of the week Issue 1, Scotty Young variant cover of Exterminators. Holy crap. Artwork here, brutal. We open the first page. You get a parental advisory warning. Uh, we don't get X-23 Wolverine uh, until the end. Uh, badass, very relatable adult tone party, kicking ass, fighting vampires, uh, clubbing. I love this book. I love everything about this book. I think it was awesome. This I was reading all the X books. Now I'm reading none of the X books. I'm going to read this. This was fun. This was entertaining. It was good. It's everything I wanted out of these characters. I loved it. Um, well, I say 9 out of 10. 8 and a half, 9 out of 10. Um, then we go back into DC. And we start with uh, cardstock B cover variant of... Issue 47 of Catwoman. Um, I, I always do like Catwoman. This issue was okay. Uh, I definitely got to do, do a reread because I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like it didn't hit the spot that it normally does. It was a solid issue. Um, we're, we're abroad. We're finally abroad. We've left. He's, she's doing her thing. I just think I need to reread it just to get it again because it doesn't it's just not sticking it's just not hitting like normally catwoman and this is tinny right yeah tinny howard normally the her ongoing story just just resonates with me and i love it something about this issue just didn't click didn't didn't make sense so i'm gonna check it out again but for now i'm gonna give it a five out of ten um issue two of deceased uh undead war of the undead gods the second issue this is a variant cover like this variant cover i like how they're doing retro comic throwbacks um i like it i screw with it this is the shit uh pretty interesting issue um basically we finally get the first issue we didn't really get that much of uh the dead gods we get them in this we get what they're doing what they're doing how many people who are trying to go against them what are the outcomes of that how they get war world um what else happens um 
you know, stuff with Sinestro, Brainiac, coming to terms and trying to work with the Justice League. We get all that stuff. Really interesting. And then Yellow Lantern Ring goes to freaking Dark Side. Crazy. Uh, the way he ripped Sinestro's head off, insane. Um, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10. Um, issue 7 of Batman Superman World's Finest. Andrew Moore does not disappoint with this issue uh, like he did in Batman vs. Superman, Batman vs. Robin. Uh, also, artwork this is the a, a, um, cover B cardstock. Um, pretty solid issue. I uh, love the artwork, obviously. Uh, this is Mark Wade and, and Andrew Mora. I might have screwed that up earlier and said just Andrew Mora. Uh, Mark Wade, Andrew Mora. Really good book. Uh, sentimental. I really enjoyed this story. I like this plot line. Uh, I'm interested to see the impact of this character in the next story. Um, very interested to see how he cor correlates. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Maybe an eight. Um, issue 786 of The Flash with the Harley Quinn anniversary cover. Um, this is a tie-in with Dark Crisis. The only good stuff coming out of Dark Crisis happens in The Flash book. It's awesome. Basically, you have all these teams that have to take these different countries and they're trying to take things on. Um, and the Flash family's running around supporting them, helping them get from point A to point B, take out the rapid spots, doing the work, right? Um, you got Flash, you got Jesse Quick, you got um, Jay Garrett Flash, you got Max Mercury, you have um, Impulse is not back yet for some reason. You got Kid Flash, you have... Um, Wally West's two kids plus uh, his wife has powers at this moment. We still haven't figured out why, but awesome family moment. Working with Animal Man and his daughter, that was really cool. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, they take on a bunch of Nazi zombies. That was cool. Um, Wally's son learning how to use his powers better with Ultra Girl. Sick. Um, I just really enjoyed this issue and from front to back. It was just a really, really solid issue. Um, and out of an event, a time for an event that's just not hitting the spot for me, this hit the spot. And this was enjoyable. Artwork was good. Covers are good. Everything about it was good. Solid issue. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, and then finally, we have the creme de la creme. You know, you know your boy. Cool. Nightwing issue, what is this, 22? 96? Oh, I say 22. 96, issue 96 with the Brady Bunch cover. We got Nightwing. We got Bitewing. We got Barbara Gordon, Oracle Batgirl. We got Bold Robbins, um, Damien, and Tim. We got Red Hood. We got Batman. And we got the Batgirls, spoiler, and, um, oh my god, am I gonna forget? They haven't been called that in a while. Orphan, spoiler, and Orphan, um, we're missing, you know, a key character in this issue, for at least one or two scenes, was Batwoman. She was sick, I would love to have seen her with Batman being that, I'm pretty sure they're cousins. Um awesome issue right so we also got parts that cover ratio cover uh me zing easily cover of the week close second close second amazing i believe that this is this is serga kuna and this is Jamal Campbell. Uh, original cover by none other than Bruno Redondo. Um, so yes, this issue is amazing, amazing issue. Um, I like it. I love it. It's We get it. We get the confrontation. He's taken on Bloodhaven. He's taken on Tombstone. He's kicking his ass or whatever his name is. I always forget his name. I think I said that wrong. Right? It's not Tombstone. Bl 
Blockbuster. He takes on Blockbuster, kicks his ass, reclaims the city. Uh, Oracle and Batwoman turn his his uh, villain sidekicks against him. Um, the city is is gonna be him. Uh, Blockbuster knows who Nightwing is. He tries to end his relationship with Barbara to save her safe to keep her safe. She says, "Not a chance. That's not happening." That was really romantic, really, really cool, crucial scene for the future of these two characters. Uh, and I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. And I'm liking how the city was fighting back for once. Um, super cool. Super awesome. Had a lot of fun with this. Um, this is a 9, maybe even 10 out of 10. Amazing series. Uh, Tom Taylor is the GOAT. So we got it. We got our books. This is what we read. Uh, stay tuned to the Instagram for those mini reviews and picture posts. Uh, once again, guys, this is the Vinyl Casket, home to the famous taste. You can check out my YouTube channel at the Vinyl Casket, all one word. You can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. And remember to do me a massive favor and stay lame.